<laughs> with four days to go in the regular season, let's take some inventory, Rich. Yes. Oh, here you got a little. Thank That's you. the rock <laughs> of how the Western Conference is shaking out, right? Because the play in, it would feature the Suns, the Kings, the Lakers, and the Warriors. Some big California representation there. And the winners of those games, they would earn the right to face either the Timberwolves or the Nuggets, which leads us to tonight's key matchups delivered by Papa John's because it is a massive showdown between the Timberwolves and the Nuggets. It could essentially decide the number one seed in the Western Conference here. And Anthony Edwards and Nikola Jokic, they were asked about the implications ahead of this one. I think everybody knows what's at stake, so I don't even need to talk about how big of a game it is. I think everybody knows. I mean, I don't think it's a really big game. Uh, yes, we're going to go to uh, out there to play and win the game, of course, but uh, I think uh, people are just making their story. It's a, it's a big, big game. I mean, hopefully it's going to be interesting, but uh, I don't think so. it's that, a big, 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 that big of a game. You know, it's a huge deal to Anthony Edwards. And Nicolai was like, I don't know, it's just another game. But that kind of speaks to a team that's won it before and a team that's trying to do it for the first time. But, Perk, you think this could really only be the beginning of where we see these two teams match up. You're damn right I feel that way, especially when it comes down to the West. Well, look, we know what the Denver Nuggets are going to do, right? We, they're the defending champs. They have Jokic, the best player in the league. Their starting five is the best starting five in the league. But people are really, really sleeping on the Timberwolves and what they're capable of. This team right here is, is, is standing on business and they're dead serious when it comes down to playing the gender-free basketball offensively. But on the defensive end, they're the number one ranked defense in the league, mm -hmm. right? They get up in your face. They make you uncomfortable. You're going to smell their cologne. Either it's Issy Miyake or Bond number nine. Shout out to <laughs> Pimp C, RIP Pimp C. Listen, McDaniels. Fourth in the lead in opponent's defense. Anthony Edwards, 10th in the lead, opponent's defense. Mike Conley, 31st in the lead, opponent's field goal defense. So when you think about that, right, and you think about the way they pressure up, they make you uncomfortable. They're sixth in the league in steals. So they're deflections. They're getting out running. And then you have an anchor in the middle in Rudy who's going to defend, who's going to rebound and do everything he needs. This team is serious. No, they're very serious. And, and when you look at the Western Conference, there's always been those matchups. Right. Whether it was Dallas and San Antonio, San Antonio and, versus the Lakers. And right now, to me, there are three teams that I could see making the conference finals the next five years. And it's OKC, it's the Timberwolves, and it's the Nuggets. Those are the three teams that have the age, the talent, and the ability to start some sort of rivalry. And I think tonight is one of those first opportunities. But you've said it, Richard. Sometimes the healthier team is the easier team to trust. It's easier to trust the demon you do know versus the one that you don't and as admirable as it is as it is as they've been able to stay atop the standings without Carl Anthony Towns if they're going to make a deep run here they need him back when are the Timberwolves hoping that'll happen Woj and hey, Malika Carl Anthony Towns could be back as soon as Friday against the Atlanta Hawks okay. and would give him a chance to play two regular season games uh, before the playoffs and you know he went out about a month ago a little over a month ago with the meniscus procedure you know he has come back on a pretty short timeline about a month I'm told he has looked very good in his workouts. He looks ready to play. And it's really just a matter of him of saying, I'm ready to tip it off. But for Minnesota, not only do they get him back here in the regular season, but they get him on the court in a few days of practice while the play-in's going on and as they wait to see who they're going to play in the first round. Yeah, playing without your all-star is no easy feat, but the reason why the Timberwolves, they're built for championships right now is because I've whittled it down to three key things. Now, respectfully here, size matters, and we're talking about their length on defense. I love it because it's Midwest Heights. The T-Wolves lineup is one of the tallest in the NBA, and they all get at least 20 minutes, which is tied for the most in the NBA, from Jaden McDaniel to Rudy Gobert, 6'7 plus, really wreaking havoc on the perimeter and also inside and that obviously helps also on defense We're looking at the stifle tower their defense has been wired to wire the best defense in the league and Rudy has been the anchor he's the fifth best rim defender in the league but at the end of the day they have a guy that literally makes you believe I mean we are watching Anthony Edwards ascend to superstardom, especially after his career 51 point night. He's the first T Wolf to have 55 and 5, and also first T Wolf to average 25, 5 and 5 in a season. And so for me, the number is 22. He's only 22 years old. Right. You have defense, you're going to get healthy. This is a team that truly is built for championships. Rudy Gobert was the final piece for this Minnesota team to think they could compete with Denver. The Nuggets were built by Tim Connolly. He drafted Nikola Jokic, he drafted Michael Porter Jr., Jamal Murray. Then he goes to Minnesota as their president. 
trades for Rudy Gobert, takes a lot of heat for that deal in the first year. And now you're seeing this is a team that has the size, the emergence of Anthony Edwards as an all-NBA player, right. and a team now that can go into Denver and potentially try to get the number one seed here tonight for the Western Conference playoffs. And the, and the beautiful thing about it is that they don't need Carl <clears throat> Anthony Towns to be great. They just need him to space the floor offensively, knock down three-point shots, yep. and be able like he don't have to be great defensively. He just gotta be solid. I just wanna try to post that what I look like.